June the 5th. We're at one of our favorite places. We come every year. Blueberry Hill Outfitters here in Saskatchewan. There are bears everywhere. We try to come here and get set up, and there's like four bears on the bait. So uh, this bait is always hot, hot, hot right here. And there's a big, giant black been coming here every night. So we're gonna, first night, we're going to take a peek at him and see what's going on. Not to say we're going to shoot him because, oh, he's got some giant bears here. So let's just uh, sit back, relax, uh, see what's coming in. Day one, here's the sketch one at Blueberry Hill Outfitters, Dirt Road Outdoors TV. You know, tonight I got five cameras rolling, hoping to get some really cool angles of all these bears coming in. Well, this little cinnamon bear, he turns out to be just quite the little Dennis the Menace. He's bound determined to knock that camera off the tree. One camera down. So well, there goes camera number two. You know, this little bear decides he's going to ruin every camera I got. Literally in five minutes, I went from having five cameras rolling, now I'm down to two. About 8.30, we hear a stick snap. We both look back. Here comes a big old bear coming to the bait. You know, we get looking at this bear, and it's a big old sow. Sal turned out to be the biggest bear we've seen that night, but we ended up seeing a dozen bears and all. Pretty good first night up here at Blueberry Hill Outfitters. Well, thanks for clicking on another Dirt Road Outdoors TV episode. As you can see, we're seeing a ton of bears up here in Saskatchewan. Hey, go down in the comments section. Let us know where your favorite place to bear hunt is. We're going to get right back to the action. You know, that second morning we got up, Mark went out to shoot his bow, and I was out playing around with the drone, and I tell you what, he's got that old bow tech hitting bullseyes. I know Mark's excited about tonight's hunt because we're going back to the moose bait. That's where he shot that giant bear last year, the biggest bear of his life. He's hoping that lightning will strike twice. You know, while we were hunting last night, Oli snuck in the moose bait and pulled out the card, and, you know, we checked it this morning. There's a bunch of bears on the camera, one huge black boar. Well, we rounded up some bait, and before you knew it, it was time to head off hunt. Well, as we got to the moose bait, Mark climbed up the tree, I went out and threw a few action cameras out. Time to get this hunt started. Last night we seen 12 bears. Tonight we moved to the place where I 
I killed that giant last year, the biggest bear of my life. with Oli. I'm telling you, we got her done again, didn't we, Oli? We got her done. You know, I've been here three years. So we're back here again tonight. Look, it's real thick in here, so not a lot of B-roll, but when they walk in, this is usually a place that big ones live at. They have all the different color phases of black bears out here. The blonde are definitely the coolest. You know, that blonde bear stuck around the bait for probably an hour, then he fed off right underneath the tree. He was gone maybe an hour, ends up coming back to the bait. And it's one thing, you can always watch these bears because they'll tell you when the next bear's coming. Here comes a big old chocolate bear coming in. Well, as that chocolate bear comes in, we're looking at it, it turns out to be a big old sow, a sow we call Terminator. The old Terminator ended up staying at the bait until dark, and you know, that's all we ended up seeing was those two bears. Never seen that big giant black bear after, but hey, tomorrow's a brand new day, we'll be right back after we begin tomorrow. Well, as you can see so far on this episode, we've seen blonde, cinnamons, chocolates, and blacks. What's your favorite color? Go down in the comments section and let us know what your favorite color bear is. Well, on that third night, we're going back to a new spot. We're going to the spot they call Four Corners. It's way back in the middle of a bunch of timber right next to a big old creek and perfect spot for a big old boar to come cruising through. You know, as we got to the stand that night, we were getting all set up and Ole and Wolf took off and I didn't even have the camera on the camera arm yet and I looked and here come a big old sow on a dead run coming right past the bait. <laughs> You know, anybody that says that a full-grown bear can't climb, better watch this footage right here. You know, that big old sow had to climb 60 or 70 foot up that tree literally in three or four seconds. Night number three. We already got action. We didn't get the camera set up yet. Here come a big old sow. It's not one tonight.
you know, this year seems like the rut's just getting rolling up here in Saskatchewan. As you can see, that sow was trying to wean her cubs. You know, and these big boars are just starting to roam. You know, it's just one of those nights where you just feel in the air, it just feels like that big bear is coming in tonight. Seemed like every time a new bear came in, they kept getting this a little bigger and a little bigger. You know, as you can see, these two young boars, they're out there trying to establish dominance. thing about Blueberry Hill, there ain't no lack of bears. As Mark took a few pics with his cell phone, you know, he could only hope a big shooter would show up before dark. You know, as we get to that magical last hour of the day, the bear just keep piling in. All of a sudden, I look to the left, and there he is, the bear we've been looking for for the last three days. Blueberry Hill Outfitters, Saskatchewan. I believe he just went down right there. Man, this place is awesome. We haven't seen so many bears tonight, it's crazy. That's a good sound right there. Oh, 10 ringed him. I think it was a 12, not a 10. Here at Blueberry Hill Outfitters. Big old long-legged boar comes walking in. We've been covered up all night long. It's been crazy. So, hey, 
another successful year. Me and Irish get her done. Blueberry. <laughs> think a 300 pounder. I think they dusted it. Oh, you done smoked him. <laughs> you know, there's just something magical about up here at Blueberry Hill because literally 20 seconds after Mark got done with his interview, the next bear come into the bait. You know, we still got about 40 minutes left before they're going to come pick us up. So here's a time lapse of all the rest of the bears that came in that night. So finally, it gets dark. Wolf pulls up to pick us up, you know, and we discuss back and forth and decide that's in our best interest just to wait till tomorrow morning and come back and find this big old bear. <laughs> Well, that next morning, we got the whole posse lined up. Time to hop on the bikes. Let's drive back in and find Mark's big old bear. Always a good sign when you pick your up like that. We waited till this morning to come back in here. There's like nine bears in here last night. We didn't want to take a chance. Uh, we heard a death moan down here, so let's go look and see what's going on. A lot of blood right there. A lot of blood, a lot of blood. Always a good sign right there. There he is. Look at that. Well, another successful trip here at Blueberry Hill Outfitters in Saskatchewan. Got my boy Ole, always puts the dirt road boys on big bears, and we did it again this year, didn't we? You betcha the old Silver Fox gets her done again. I mean, this is a phenomenal place. This is old Black Jack. We got Black Jack because he was the 21st bear we've seen this week. And, man, I am happy, happy, happy. Then just another successful trip here at Blueberry Hill Outfitters in Saskatchewan. You know, this bear walked in. He was really long, and uh, they're hard. I mean, they're hard to judge. But we've seen a big melon on this thing and long-legged joker, but uh, he's going to tip the scales a little more than you think. So very proud of him. He's got a great skull and uh, just another successful hunt, like I said. You know, up here at Blueberry Hill, Ole keeps strict records on all these bears. The first thing we're going to do is go back and weigh Mark's bear. You know, we put him on the scale. Bear ended up weighing 310 pounds. Hey, if you're looking to go on a bear hunt, there ain't nowhere better to go than Blueberry Hill Outfitters. Feel free to give Ole a call. He'll give you all the info. Tell you what, this is one of the true hidden gems. Well, first off, thanks for watching another Dirt Road Outdoors TV episode here on YouTube. Hopefully you gave us a thumbs up by now. Hopefully you subscribe to our channel. Make sure to go down, leave us a comment in the comment section. Let us know what you like, what you didn't like. And we'll see you right here next time on Dirt Road Outdoors TV.